AI technology goes beyond LLM chatbots and voice assistants. What if you walked into a hospital, and instead of being attended to by the grumpy nurse just finishing a 20-hour shift, you're approached by a personalized machine which attends to you swiftly without any of the sass? The best part of these robots isn't their temperament, it's how they can assist with things like reminding you to take your drugs and monitoring your vitals. These may seem like minor tasks, but they can be a Herculean task for people living with disabilities or chronic illnesses. Before now, robots were mainly used at the peripherals of healthcare, involving delivering drugs to patients, dispensing medication, or retrieving patient records. We have since gone from this limited performance to sophisticated robotic systems like the Da Vinci Surgical System. Things are switching up even further as there is a push to bring these robots to the forefront of things. We are talking about intelligent robots who can perform tasks without being another extension of a doctor or nurse. Artificial intelligence has made this dream even more real each year. Robotics in healthcare came long before NVIDIA's innovative AI solutions like the Neurobot. Before AI ushered in the endless capabilities in health, earlier technology was limited to basic assistance. As early as the 1980s, assisted surgeries had taken off. The surgical robot Puma 560 was first used in 1985 in a stereotaxic operation to perform a neurosurgical biopsy. Using computed tomography, the robot was able to insert a needle into the brain and take a small sample. The 2000s ushered in rehabilitation and care robots. Robotic systems like Locomat, a robot-assisted walking therapy device, were used to train patients with stroke and spinal cord injuries to retain their gaits. The humanoids came too. One such was Reman, a robot capable of lifting and transporting patients. The assistive robot could act almost like a human, recognize a face, distinguish between scents, and locate a person using tactile sensors. During this time, there was also a rapid advancement in surgical assistive robotics. The Da Vinci surgical system was revolutionizing how doctors did surgery. Surgeries were now minimally invasive. The Da Vinci surgical system could deliver small, precise incisions, perform a wide range of surgical procedures, and guarantee faster recovery time for patients. Machines like this re-emphasized the possibility of telemedicine, health practitioners who could interact with patients via machines. So far, surgeries may not have progressed significantly to the stage where a surgeon from anywhere in the world can operate on anyone, but systems like RP Vita currently allow patients and doctors to interact via video conferencing. Patient data and ultrasound images can be shared back and forth, making it an interactive platform. Taking a step further, AI integration with robot systems ushered in a new wave of smart robots who did more than assist. Robots like Pepper, developed by SoftBank Robotics, did more than assist. It could greet patients, provide emotional support, and apply context. This social humanoid robot is designed for everyday interaction with humans, applying context to healthcare settings. Today's robots in healthcare do more than just deliver doctor's instructions. They are smart and able to answer questions and respond to patients' needs. Surgical robots like STAR, Smart Tissue Autonomous Robot, can perform suturing without human intervention. These recent innovations are now leapfrogging in the direction of autonomous robots that are able to anticipate actions, apply human context, and even provide social and mental support. Tweets like this are starting to appear all over the internet when humans are choosing to speak to AI chatbots about their problems, with some even claiming to prefer these interactions over those with actual human beings. Having understood this new trend of healthcare robots doing more and improving healthcare, it is understandable why NVIDIA's nursing robots are all the rage now. What are these robots, and what new layer of healthcare can they add? Birthed from a groundbreaking collaboration between Foxconn, NVIDIA, and Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Neurobot presents a new exciting possibility. This AI-powered nursing assistant runs on NVIDIA's FoxBrain AI system. FoxBrain, trained using NVIDIA Hopper GPUs, allows robots to perform text-to-speech conversion, recognize speech, and process natural language. This means Neurobot can listen, apply human context to conversations, and respond in what is considered natural conversational language. 
Currently being tested at Tai Chung Veterans General Hospital in Taiwan, nurses and patients alike have been receptive, even giving positive affirmations regarding the robot's effectiveness. Neurobot comes with numerous key features and capabilities that make it such a powerful tool to be reckoned with. One such is the environmental awareness that allows Neurobot to navigate complex hospital environments safely and efficiently. Navigation of this type is possible as Neurobot is equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors such as LiDAR and SLAM. LiDAR and SLAM allow real-time sensing where Neurobot can create maps of new environments using precise measurements relevant to their own position in the environment. Once mapped, Neurobot embeds this information in its brain. It doesn't stop it navigating rooms. Neurobot can also navigate multi-floor hospitals using NVIDIA ISAAC, an NVIDIA library framework with computational abilities that stimulate this process. This level of navigational prowess means that Neurobot can not only attend to hundreds of patients across multiple floors, but they also get to do this without the fatigue that would typically set in for human nurses. Neurobot is designed to handle a range of tasks, whether physical, cognitive, or mental. Starting with the physical demands of healthcare spaces, we see that nurses might struggle with moving objects, repositioning patients, and navigating multiple floors to deliver medication. Neurobot is equipped with robotic arms that allow it to lift and hold items. Given how sturdy and strong these robotic arms are, there are less incidents of accidents from dropping or spilling items. Nursing tasks, such as delivering medications to patients, transporting samples to laboratories, and moving immobile patients are much easier to do. Unlike other assistive technology that can only take on these physical tasks, Neurobot edges out the competition with its ability to provide social and emotional support, similar to human nurses. While that sounds like a bit of a stretch, there's no doubt that NVIDIA's GPU-accelerated multilingual speech and translation microservices, known as Riva, definitely help. That means that Neurobot can not only speak and understand human language, it can also translate from one human language to the other, conferring a multilingual ability on this machine. This feature revolutionizes the way patients can communicate their ailments. After all, in the healthcare system, extracting information from a patient can be a daunting task, especially when the healthcare provider and patient don't share a common language. In the case of the language barrier, the Neurobot supplements by being able to speak and listen to patients in their native language or the language in which they can most express themselves. In other words, patients can go beyond just saying it hurts. They can describe their pain and symptoms in more detail to help their healthcare team with diagnosis and treatment. I think this is one of the biggest positives, as patient-centered care can now be optimally dispensed when patients' needs are fully understood. Another key feature of Neurobot is the ease of integration with existing systems. For one, it's part of Foxconn's comprehensive smart hospital ecosystem, which includes AI models for patient monitoring and digital twin technology for hospital optimization. This carefully mapped out ecosystem is one that, if combined, is reported by Foxconn as being able to reduce the workload of human nurses by up to 30%. A number that is significant enough to compensate for the shortage of nursing staff in some areas. This shift could actually make nursing more attractive as a profession. Nurses can spend less time on physically exhausting tasks, like moving supplies, and more time on meaningful patient interaction. We expect to see an increase in satisfaction not just for the patients alone, but also for the nurses. Despite the excitement that many technology enthusiasts have with how robots like Neurobot will impact the health sector in the coming years, there are those who believe that nursing as a profession cannot be handled by lifeless, mechanical creatures. Not very long ago, this video of a woman thrashing a robot in a hospital was circulating the internet. Frustrated by her inability to get an appointment, she picks up an object and is seen trashing the robots. Others in the comment section of this post are seen sharing their sentiments, like this user, Aurelius, who believes that some things are better not automated. Another user says, Once robots take most of our jobs, a lot of people are going to start buying robots just to beat the f out of them. This is already happening in other sectors, with Google and IBM cutting off thousands of jobs because of the impact of AI. These concerns might have come late to the healthcare sector, but with the advent of Neurobot technology and other technologies, they're becoming real. 
Not only will nurses lose their jobs, but patients may not exactly be thrilled with the robots attending to them. Many people equate the service experience of being treated by an AI nurse to that of listening to an AI customer service prompt. One word classifies both. Annoying. No one wants to listen to the monotonous drone of a machine. There's also the concern that over-reliance on machines could erode these essential human interactions, leading to a more mechanical and less compassionate healthcare experience. Can these machines really listen to you, empathize and respond adequately, or do they just pretend to? Beyond these personal sentiments, more tangible concerns have led many activists to weigh in on the matter. Financial cost and accessibility. Replacing nurses with robots might seem reasonable, but the question no one is asking is this. What would it cost to equip hospitals with these robots? Will it be cheaper in the long run? These machines cost thousands, if not millions of dollars to acquire, enough money to employ a handful of nurses. Let's not also forget that maintaining these machines costs just as much. Software updates, mechanical repairs, new parts, and total system overhauls in cases of security breaches. Are we really sure that training and attracting more nurses isn't a better alternative to consider? If we are willing to spend this much in the development of AI machines to take nursing jobs, why not compensate nurses better and simply incentivize others to join the profession? Let's not also forget that the risk of data breaches and misuse of personal health information increases with healthcare systems moving from human nurses to machines. You're just one computer virus away from bringing an entire hospital to its knees. Computer glitches of this sort might have a bigger repercussion than we might see in other sectors such as real estate or banking. For context, when there's a bank glitch, you may not be able to access your money for some time or get the wrong tax return. But at best, these issues cause financial or operational delays. In comparison, one wrong datum and one wrong prescription is all it takes to cause a fatal and irreversible seizure, heart attack, or stroke. And we haven't even dived deep into how a cybersecurity attack could expose and compromise the intimate health information of thousands of patients. Regardless of these voiced concerns, the world continues to speed towards innovation. So far, when it comes to addressing staff shortages, healthcare robots seem like the perfect solution. Early evidence from hospitals using robots suggests that rather than reducing employment, these technologies often lead to better patient outcomes, which can increase demand for healthcare services overall. The emergence of smart, intuitive nursing robots will help physicians do more with less. Much like how assistive technology has helped many health practitioners to focus on the more intricate bits of the profession, nursing robots can usher in personalized medicine just as the da Vinci system did with minimally invasive surgeries. With concerns about data security, AI robots are mandated to meet HIPAA slash GDPR compliance. HIPAA ensures that the data is accessible to only the right people and detailed records of how this data is being used are also made available. GDPR spreads the net even further by asking these AI companies to obtain patient consent regarding how their information is used, make sure these patients stay anonymous, and alert authorities within 72 hours if something goes wrong. Failure to comply with these rules often results in heavy fines or even complete evisceration of said companies. So next time you see an AI nurse robot, you can rest assured that it has met HIPAA GDPR compliance, meaning that your data is safe. Of course, Foxconn and NVIDIA aren't the only ones looking to transform the healthcare industry with robot nurses. Hansen's robotics Grace handles tasks once reserved for human caregivers. This robot made headlines on CNN in 2021 when she made her debut closely following the pandemic as an assistant to help relieve burnout. With a lifelike face and calming voice, She's capable of taking vital readings, monitoring exercises, all while patiently explaining to the patient what she's doing. Perhaps the most impressive thing about Grace is that her human-like emotions and advanced intelligence make for one of her best features, talk therapy. As a result, Grace is more than a nurse. She's also a companion for the sick and elderly. Besides, she's also capable of speaking multiple languages, making her perfect for an international market. According to the International Federation of Robotics, IFR, global sales of medical robots are on the rise, and with advanced AI like Grace, they're bound to keep going up.
Another company I've mentioned on this channel before, Realbotics, also highlights on their website that their advanced humanoids can make social connections in environments such as hospitals, healthcare facilities, etc. But while hospitals might intentionally purchase these synthetic humans with intentions to have them assist existing human caregivers, they could just as quickly become the face of healthcare across multiple countries. In the end, I think we can trust that every advancement in science is a welcome development. While we might argue its benefits and disadvantages, both now and in the long run, there is always room for improvement. It's important that when implementing these technologies, we prioritize both patient care and worker well-being. Healthcare robots should be seen as tools that enhance human capabilities, not as replacements for human judgment and compassion. Already, healthcare robots like Neurobot are undeniably reshaping the future of medicine. The benefits are enormous and undeniable improved efficiency in the health sector, reduced human error, and support for overburdened health workers. We have seen success with the Da Vinci surgical system performing over 10 million surgical procedures and significantly lowering the complication rates that accompany traditional surgery. Discussions around the ethics of when it comes to using healthcare robots to treat vulnerable patients will determine in the future to what extent the robots play their roles. Government subsidies will help put these robots in hospitals where they are needed, making it accessible and affordable. As always, this new technology will usher in a new wave of robotics, which focuses on mental and emotional support for patients. Who knows, one day you might walk into a hospital and be unable to distinguish between a human nurse and a humanoid. I mean, who is to say that we can't give our robots our skin, eyes, and looks when we can give them our intelligence? I even have a previous video on how synthetic humans are closer than they appear. In the end, do you think that robots will eventually replace most healthcare jobs, given the abilities that machines like Neurobot have? Will there be certain jobs in the future that can be replaced by AI? If you found this deep dive into healthcare robotics interesting, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content about technology's impact on our world. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comment section too.